Good evening, I'm Sarah Rep reporting from the SMC News Desk. High winds and tinder dry conditions combined with possible lightning strikes from thunderstorms have created an extreme fire danger across much of Kansas. The National Weather Service has issued a red flag warning for most of eastern Kansas through 7 p.m. today. A red flag warning means that critical fire weather conditions are either occurring now or will shortly. A combination of strong winds and low relative humidity and warm temperatures can contribute to extreme fire behavior. Any fires that develop will likely spread rapidly. Outdoor burning should be avoided and shifting winds will cause controlled fire problems. Strong sustained winds of 20 to 30 miles per hour are expected from the south and southwest and some wind gusts reaching up to 50 miles per hour at times. Those winds will shift to the northwest at 10 to 12 miles per hour with gusts around 25 miles per hour during the evening. A tire caused a grass fire on Monday in suburban Kansas City. KSHB TV reports that Johnson County Sheriff's Office announced in a Facebook post on Monday afternoon that the K-10 at Edgerton Road was closed for a short period of time because of a blaze that erupted after a car lost a wheel. No injuries were, were reported. Johnson County is among those counties with an elevated risk of wildfires. Washburn University plans to start its fall semester with in-person classes after Shawnee County Health Department updated its vaccine plan to include university, faculty, and staff. Washburn President Jerry Farley says an additional level of protection should allow them to return to fully more traditional campus model. University officials said that Washburn students can expect a more normal fall 2021 semester with university faculty and staff now prioritized for vaccine distribution. It was not immediately clear what prompted the change in the vaccination policy. Vaccine distribution has ramped up recent weeks and COVID-19 transmission rates and hospitalizations have fallen. Les Miles is out as the head football coach at the University of Kansas, just days after he was placed on administrative leave amid a sexual misconduct allegations from his tenure at LSU. KU described Miles' departure as a part of a mutual agreement to part ways. He has three years left on his original five-year contract with the school, and last year LSU released a 148-page review by a law firm about the university's handling of sexual misconduct complaints. It described how Miles tried to sexualize staff and student workers in the football program by, for instance, allegedly demanding that he wanted blondes with big breasts and pretty girls. Kansas Senator Roger Marshall, MD, has announced that the University of Kansas Medical Center received a large donation from the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services to study the effectiveness of combining menopausal and hormonal therapies to reduce the risk of breast cancer, while also alleviating menopausal symptoms in women. As an OBGYN, I understand the complexity of women's health, especially the risks that develop as they age from the reproductive years to menopause, said Marshall. Sadly, breast cancer remains the second leading cause of cancer death among women, he said. Researchers at the University of Kansas Medical Center developed an ingenious approach at reducing the risk of breast cancer while also alleviating common symptoms that occur as women go through menopause. I applaud their work and hope that these trials yield promising results. The project funded by the National Cancer Institute aims to prevent cancer in women by studying the effects of a combination of hormonal and non-hormonal treatment. Over the next five years, the research team will use breast imaging to evaluate its effectiveness in preventing breast cancer. The clinical trial is expected to begin early this summer and will enroll 120 women ages 50 to 60 with hot flashes and increased risk for breast cancer from five designated cancer centers. Republican lawmakers in Kansas outlined a measure on Wednesday that would overturn Democratic Governor Laura Kelly's policy of withholding doses of the COVID-19 vaccines from counties wanting to move to a new phase of inoculations before the rest of the state. Senate Health Committee Chair Richard Hildebrand called the policy blackmail or extortion. The State Department of Health and Environment has described withholding the vaccine doses as an enforcement mechanism, and Kelly says the goal is to keep the train running as smoothly as we possibly can. In local news, four skimmers were found on gas pumps at Rods, Texaco on West Crawford Street. On Tuesday, there was a report of fraudulent activity causing Solana P police to investigate. 
Double Check, the company that services the fuel pumps, sent an employee who reported finding the four skimmers inside of fuel pumps and they were not visible from the outside. The last time the pumps had been serviced was February 17th of this year. It is unknown at this time if or how many individuals' cards may have been compromised, according to Paul Forrester, captain of the Salina Police Department. Forest River Inc. formerly El Dorado bus in Salina has failed a WARN layoff notice with the state indicating that 146 jobs will be impacted. And in a letter to employees, the company indicated that the Salina location will be permanently closed. The termination of jobs and closure is scheduled to take place between May 10th and 24th. The company notes that COVID-19 pandemic was a reason for closing. And now for a look at our three-day weather forecast. Tonight is to be mostly clear with a low around 36 degrees. Thursday is sunny with a high near 61. Thursday night, increasing clouds with a low around 40 degrees. Friday showers are likely and possibly a thunderstorm, cloudy with a high near 52, and the chance of precipitation is at 60%. Friday night, showers are likely, then possibly a thunderstorm after midnight with a low around 42, and precipitation is at 80%. I'm Sarah Rupp reporting from the SMC News Desk, wishing you a good evening.